Hi, this is going to be my review of Cabin in the Woods for the movie club. Okay, so let's start off by saying I don't watch horror movies anymore. I haven't seen a horror movie since, uh, yeah, it's been that long. I don't watch horror movies. I can do a little bit of zombie kind of scary, but mostly horror movies are kind of off limits for me. I have an overactive imagination and therefore nightmares to follow. But I watched this film this morning in the daylight and I think I'll be okay. It knows that it's kind of a joke. It sets itself up to be kind of ridiculous and predictable. Not super gory, lots of fake blood, but not nothing kind of like, you're not watching organs fall out of people for goodness sakes, thank God. In my opinion, the entire film would have been way more interesting if it would have been like the last 30 minutes. Here's where I will go, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. When the last two surviving people find the elevator and go down into the facility, that's when shit actually gets good. I was horrified the whole time, but found the last 30 minutes to be way more interesting than the rest of it. The concept of the kids going into that room and picking how they were going to die is pretty interesting. Um, but what I really found interesting was when they were on the elevator and you see all of the different options of things that could have happened to them. And then when they release them all and shit hits the fan, that's just way more interesting than people running through the woods. Of course the girl takes off her shirt and then gets stabbed. Of course the jock is doing something jock-like when he is killed. By the way, watching the actor who plays Thor smash into an invisible wall on a motorcycle. I found that amusing. In my opinion, the story itself wasn't developed enough to give the actors anything to really kind of dig into in the first place. So it is no one's fault that I didn't really attach to any of the characters. The end was really the only thing that kind of caught me a little off guard, but even that was kind of predictable. I really just wish that the whole film would have been in that facility. It reminds me a lot of kind of parts of Resident Evil films and also a little bit of The Cube, um, just because those are both uh, people trapped in places having to deal with horror. And that was interesting to me. My one problem with the whole thing was that at no point did I see, after those monsters were released, did they ever fight each other? Come on! Sure, they're gonna kill the people because that's who locked them up, I guess, but I kept waiting for the giant snake thing to fight the werewolf or something! I mean, something! I actually really liked that the little snippet at the beginning in the facility before you meet the core teen characters is actually setting you up to understand where it's all going. You just kind of ignore it because you're kind of like, meh, it's about the teenagers and their whore, right? But it's not. I like that aspect of it. In my mind, this story would have ideally been played out so that on the DVD, when the kids get to the room and they all pick up, like the girl picks up the necklace and the guy picks up the glass ball and she picks up the diary and he picks up the other thing, if it turned into a choose your own adventure story and you could go through and pick the different objects in the room and then the film would play out that way. I mean, that'd be like 20 or 30 different films. And yes, that's ridiculous. I understand. But come on. If it would have been a choose your own adventure story on the DVD, I bet you they would have sold a whole lot more DVDs. My conclusion is fairly average horror film. I hear that people really liked it. I'm not a horror person, so I didn't really like enjoy it, but I didn't hate it either. Will not watch it again. Probably ever. Even if they set it up on the DVD so that it was Choose Your Own Adventure, I still wouldn't watch it again, but that would be really cool. I guess that's it. I hope that's an okay review from someone who doesn't watch horror flicks. That's all I've got for now. I will see you later. You just watch Stephanie talk Don't forget to tell her what you thought Share and like, maybe subscribe Stephanie will see you all next time